All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and we are back in Starfield today for another custom vanilla ship build. Uh, as usual, I try to keep it as vanilla as possible for you guys so that all our friends on consoles can have as much fun with my ships as anybody on PC. And of course, today we're going to go over the ship I call the Hornet. This is a little tiny ship. Uh, it's got Class B reactor and grav drive, but Class A engine, so it's a really speedy and really amazing little dogfighter. Um, and it's a really simple layout and uh, very, very comfortable. Uh, as a reminder, guys, we are on our way to 500 subs, so please make sure that you like, subscribe, and subscribe. Please, man, we're having so much fun building all these things for you across these games. Um, and the more you guys uh, engage with my content, the more excited I get to do it. So remember to do that down below. It really means a lot to me. Um, but back to the ship. As you can see, this is just a little tiny ship. It uses the silhouette of my Razor's Edge and Venom's Edge. I really like those ships, but they are Class C. Um, and this is technically a Class B ship, but we have those Class A engines. So she screams, and she's got a lot, uh, surprisingly a lot of cargo, which is pretty wild. Um, but we'll go ahead and run in here real quick and take a good look around. It's a fairly simple loadout, but you won't be missing out on any of the amenities in this ship. Uh, it's as good as any big star fortress that you can get. We're going to come up into this 2x2 two two Tayo living quarters, which has plenty of beds for your crew and a galley and some seating. It's a very comfortable uh, hab. And then, of course, we have a workshop here uh, so that you have access to your workbenches. And then we have another hab uh, over here, which is a captain's quarters for you to sleep in. And then, of course, we have ourselves... A computer banks. You could make this an infirmary. You could make this anything you wanted. I just wanted to buff my crew a little bit so that way we could have more of a crew on even a tiny, tiny ship. And of course, everybody comes up here and our uh, docker is right there. So it doesn't really interfere with anything. And of course, forward, we're going into that really nice little Magellan cockpit. Uh, this is a very good cockpit for dogfighting ships. We'll take off, and you guys will be able to see this, the uh, Hornet in action as we lift off from my base here on Kurtz. I really like the uh, weapons loadout on this little ship. Uh, I will share this weapons loadout with you. I think if, if you're not interested in automated turrets or locking on to anything, uh, this little loadout that I have here is probably the best uh, loadout for just straight up shooting at people. And uh, you'll see why here in a second. But we'll turn into the sun. Of course, we've got max speed because this is a, a, a little tiny cla uh, Class B ship with those Class A engines. Um, but we'll get in here and you'll get to be able to look at the Hornet as it's flying through space. It's a very, very cute little ship. I just love it to death, I'll be honest. Uh, if, I, if I didn't have such a, a hunger for cargo... I would probably use this ship as uh, my my personal ship if I could get away with it, but I am uh, I am unfortunately hooked on cargo. I have upwards of seven thousand cargo on me at all times. Uh, but you can see there, this is just a really nice silhouette, very cool looking, and uh, you just saw the interior. It's very very comfortable. You could really make this your home ship if you're not interested in. Uh, dealing with any of the larger ship layouts. And this could very well be a ship that you just make a Class A ship. You don't necessarily need uh, the Class B parts, uh, though it does help uh, win some of those dogfights with the extra energy for your weapons. So, yeah, that is the Hornet in flight, guys. So we will, s we will move right on over to the... Uh, shipbuilder and we'll uh, kind of pull this apart very simple and easy build so we'll be right back editing ozzy here i forgot to demonstrate the weapons uh, this is how this weapon loadout works if you look 
you can just unload like crazy and your vanguards will run out but you can continue to shoot uh, the other one indefinitely it's got a very fast charge rate but takes a lot of power but uh, man you can really just go to town uh, with this particular loadout and just lay into people it just tears through everything and anything that you might encounter and you can occasionally pop the top one off if you want it's pretty fun but this is a forever shooting loadout you just wait for the vanguard obliterators to recharge and you can keep firing that pb50 indefinitely so that was editing ozzy trying to demonstrate the weapons that i was recommending so we'll see you guys later okay guys we are back in the shipbuilder and i kind of have the hornet pulled apart there's really not much to it uh, you'd be surprised so we'll just kind of go over the basic layout as you see here we'll start on the bottom we have ourselves a ng6 landing bay from nova galactic and uh, that is going to go up into that uh, Tayo all-in-one berth 2x2 two two, top B and that's going to be connected to a Tayo captain's quarters top B. <coughs> and then of course underneath that we will have our RD3000 beta grav drive and then we will have our 204 DS mag inertial reactor from Dogstar. And like I said, you would be surprised. We have quite a bit of cargo uh, on this ship. We have two of these 30T cargo haulers from Sextant Shield Systems. And then we have four of these Degamma 1020 uh, cargo holds, just like you see here. It looks like we have uh, two of the Degamma 1020 cargo holds because we couldn't quite uh, make that work uh, with the weight, but we maxed it out. And so we have uh, two uh, DeGamma 1000 cargo holds that carry a little bit less than the 1020s. So the 1000 is a little lighter, but that allows us to have a fairly competent amount of uh, cargo on such a tiny ship. And then of course, we do have our landing gear, which will be four of your uh, AccuLander 11s from a Stroud Eklund like you see here and they'll just be aligned like that. And then we do have our two other uh, two by our two by ones uh, right here, which I have a workshop. And then I have the other one turned into a computer banks to buff my crew. And of course I got a couple of windows on the sides of those for, uh, for some views if you really want those, but those are completely optional. Um, and in the back is where all the business is on this ship. So we have six of these SA4330 engines from Slayton Aerospace. Uh, they're nice little Class A ships, give you a lot of thrust, and uh, you'll have two arranged just like this on this side, and they will be mirrored over here on this side. And then we have two more, but they will go uh, on just attached to the back of your Habs here. And, uh, and we'll put our gas tank in between those. And it is a 500T helium-3 tank from Ballistic Solutions. Nice little gas tank. And uh, this is kind of the reason I like having the Class B reactor. And that's because we can have this nice bulwark shield uh, from the Vanguard. We have three of these Demos bellies to just sort of make it look cool here in the back. Uh, give it a nice silhouette. And then of course in the front, we have uh, four of these Stroud caps that uh, snap just like you see here to just add a little bit of decorations. But where the uh, business is on this ship is uh, we're going to have six of these uh, Vanguard obliterators that you see here attached on these weapon mounts. And then we're going to have two PB-50 proton beams from Ballistic Solutions. And as you can see... Uh, they take four, and I do have one Exterminator 95 MV Hellion Beam. Uh, you could put whatever you want here. That is just purely decorative. Uh, you get you have one leftover uh, power uh, with this with this loadout, so you can have an additional weapon if you want, uh, just so you can have the one. Uh, extra thing that uh, has a charge you could put a missile there or 
any number of things. But note that it will only have uh, the one uh, power. So it, it won't be as useful to you uh, as some of the other uh, weapons that you could possibly get. So if you don't even want to bother with having just the one power, uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, I did completely forget to demonstrate uh, the the firepower in space. So that will probably have come earlier in the video. So this is going to be an edit. You will see me shooting these things off uh, earlier in the video. Uh, so, but I'm not going to do that right now. But anyway, that is basically how you make the Hornet, guys. It is a very simple very cheap and very fun little ship that you can fly around if you don't have access uh, to all the ship parts that are available. Uh, and you can sub out less versions of a lot of these items uh, until you do if you can't get to them right away. So that's pretty much the Hornet, guys. Uh, I just want to say thanks for coming along. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Gamer's Grid.